Hi everyone! I'm going to read you some poems from Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Right. Invitation. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a ma magic bean buyer, if you're a pretender, come sit by my fire. For we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in, come in. Magic. Sandra's seen a leprechaun. Eddie touched a troll. Lori danced with witches once. Charlie found some goblins gold. Donald heard a mermaid sing. Susie spied an elf. But all the magic I have known, I have had to make myself. It's dark in here. I am writing these poems from inside a lion, and it's rather dark in here. So please excuse the handwriting, which may not be too clear. But this afternoon by the lion's cage, I'm afraid I got too near. And I'm writing these lines from inside a lion, and it's rather dark in here. Colors. My skin is kind of sort of brown, pinkish, yellowish, white. My eyes are grayish, bluish, green, but I'm told they look orange in the night. My hair is reddish, blondish, brown, but it's silver when it's wet. And all the colors I am inside have not been invented yet. Listen to the mustn'ts. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never-haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. I like this one a lot. Smart. My dad gave me one dollar, because I'm his smartest son. And I swapped it for two shiny quarters, because two is more than one. And then I took the quarters and traded them to Lou, for three dimes, I guess he don't know that three is more than two. Just then came along old blind Bates, and just because he can't see, he gave me four nickels for my three dimes, and four is more than three. And I took the nickels to Hiram Combs down at the seed feed store, and the fool gave me five pennies for them, and five is more than four. And then I went and showed my dad, and he got red in the cheeks, and closed his eyes and shook his head, too proud of me to speak. Invention. I've done it, I've done it, guess what I've done? Invented a light that plugs into the sun. The sun is bright enough, the bulb is strong enough, but oh, there's only one thing wrong. The cord ain't long enough. All right. Enter this deserted house, but please walk softly as you do. Frogs dwell here and crickets too. Ain't no ceiling. Only blue. Jays dwell here and the sunbeams too. Floors are flowers. Take a few. Ferns grow here and daisies too. Whoosh, swoosh, to wit, to woo. Bats dwell here and hoot owls too. Ha ha, he he, hoo hoo. Gnomes dwell, he, dwell, dwell here and goblins too. And my child, I thought you knew. I dwell here and so do you. Where the sidewalk ends. There is a place where the sidewalk ends and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white, and there the sun burns, burns crimson bright. And there the moon bird rests from his flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends. Past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow and watch where the chalk white arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow and we'll go where the, white, the chalk white arrows go for the children they mark and the children they know the place where the sidewalk ends. For all you children at home who maybe aren't doing your chores, 
Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings. Coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crust and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of blackburn buttered toast, grisly bits of beefy roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall, it raised the roof, it broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that it finally touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play and then finally Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there in the garbage she did hate, poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate, because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout, and always take the garbage out. This one's nice and short. Love. Ricky was out, but he's home with the flu. Lizzie R.O. had some homework to do. Mitchell E. probably got lost on the way. So I'm all of love that could make it today. Just the V. Alice. She drank from the bottle called Drink Me, and up she grew so tall. She ate from the plate called Taste Me, and down she shrank so small. And so she changed, while other folks never tried nothing at all. And that's going to be it from where the sidewalk ends. But I'm going to share with you a printout of my favorite Shel Silverstein poem. She had blue skin, and so did he. He kept it hid, and so did she. They searched for blue their whole life through, then passed right by, and never knew. Right, everyone, I hope you're staying safe and healthy at home. Keep reading, keep learning. We're gonna get through this. Bye.